I'm like water, I feel. <laughs> I'm more like, I'm more like I have to prepare, I have to plan. Oh wait, okay. There you go. So, I'm like Mr. Waterboy here, who knows how to flow. I'm very, um, I like structure, I like planning, I like knowing ahead of time. But sometimes in dance, like, it's okay, like, I can fix it or, um, it's fine. Like, I can move on to the rest of the routine. So, that was really good. And it's just like, learning to just let go and have fun. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Abenico Dance. My name is Andrew, and I'm the Bachata Instructor. And I would like to introduce you to the couple that is actually going to be implementing this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. My name is David. And I'm Bianca. I'm from Mississauga. And I'm from Etobicoke. I make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh. Uh, so what are my goals for David and Bianca? So... <clears throat> I really want to push them to their limits as far as they possibly can go and I don't think they know where that is and that's going to be fun for them to see and maybe not fun. We're a donkey and then you got the stick and then the rope and then the carrot. That was pretty much Andrew for us, <laughs> right? Right. I have a good feeling right now. <laughs> Mind you, we're just starting this so I don't know for a fact but I have a good feeling that they're going to make me proud. I might even shed a tear. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited though. I'm really excited to see what they actually produce. When we started learning the choreography, it was very difficult to like, at the beginning to learn these moves. Even though like now that I think about it, it's very, very simple moves. <laughs> learning curve that I had was uh, definitely the most difficult thing and then when we would practice and we would think oh wait no this is the right way of doing it no no this is the right way of doing it and that was very frustrating yeah that was that was really difficult um, for me it's learning how to follow because usually in real life um, <laughs> I take charge <laughs> so um, <laughs> him being the lead it was kind of like hard for myself to kind of just let go and like okay he has to lead he has to like direct me on where to go Okay. And letting him be able to direct me in the way he wants to was like very tough. But because you really fought me on a lot <laughs> yeah, of the times, I'm like, hey, and you're like, I'm gonna go that way, right? I'm like, okay, but it doesn't look that great. Let's try again. Now I'm better. Yeah, yeah. we work together. Yay. The instructors are all great people, so not only are you learning about dance, but you're also learning about life and you're getting good conversations and you're learning about yourself and they really take the time to um, make sure that they make the routine or whatever you're practicing on. Alright, good. Let's continue from there. So let's just go from the one to the hand flick and let me see what else is there. Like more focus on you and the way your body works. That's the idea, just to stay moving. No more even the very first uh, step is like just catching the beat and i had andrew had we've done it like multiple times at walk that walk i think you're walk, walking too fast man and one two three four you when you take steps confident steps you're kind of doing like I'm not gonna breathe the fire right now. That walk though. That walk. That's all I'm gonna say. Is walk with me. That walk. How do you walk? Dude, how do you walk? Let's 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 just take a walk around the studio. Let's take a lap. We're gonna take a lap. <laughs> always, always something. Just walk with me. Just a regular walk, you know? You can do, do a little emphasis on one step if you want. Oh man. Let's do it again. I would say uh, the best lesson that I've learned about myself is just how to uh, give yourself confidence. Why well, I just learned like, you know, just be confident in what we, you've learned. Like you'll learn even more later, but like look how far you've come now. Wow. And yeah, because I was so agitated, um, dance was a really good stress reliever. Take a deep breath. Now. The rhythm. Because of the instability, like it 
made Bianca much more stressful, so which made me more stressful. So having her to de-stress through dance made me de-stress as well through dance. I can't dance <laughs> uh, normally. Like like when I would go to the clubs and stuff, it's just not like very no rhythm at all. It's just kind of like on, not on beat, not on time. And you should not be afraid to touch each other because you are a boyfriend and girlfriend. Right? Just being patient and just trusting the process and, and dance is a, is a long process and people make it look so easy but it's it's a lot of work and, and, and a lot of respect to all those dancers out there Yay! until times you don't want to make the decision making and I have to make a decision making without knowing that it's my time to make a decision making it's implied but, but it's good in, during this dance that like it's just my time to make decision making and I get to control how wherever we go so we don't really like like have a hobby together so this is our, our hobby together and it really helped us learn about each other and like like work with each other yeah and that's been something that we've learned a lot which really has helped our relationship Explore tu cuerpo y de prueba de que estuve allí y ahora tú temes volver donde él porque nos pueden descubrir mami olvídate que ya el daño está hecho es mejor que lo sé porque es lo que tú y yo estamos ocultando es una bomba de tiempo dile que me amas me extraña en los momentos cuando no estás conmigo y que a su lado solo existe el sufrimiento tu vida es un martirio vete y dile ahora Now that it's over and we performed it, it's like a relief that it, we're done practicing it, but also sad because I spent so many hours practicing. Thousands of tears later. And like in my room, just doing the same move over and over again. I feel like empowered. Like I've never like danced before like in my life. So just learning all of this was just um, like incredible like I, I don't know like I feel like so energetic now and it's like I'm also kind of like also sad too <laughs> In the performance, it was very, very like easy. Like we didn't know what to expect and how it was going to be, but uh, but Karen made it very easy to for us to like perform. That environment to to help us like grow even during the performance like is is amazing. What's in store for us next is another ten hour transformation. Thank you, Abanico. <laughs>